Yo, so one of the biggest mistakes in my entire dunk journey that I battle with every single workout, dunk life, baby, dunk to Tuesday, every freaking Tuesday, if you don't follow, my potential is higher. Point is, but the point is, but the point is, let's ride. The person I see in the future I could be, I just gotta work and you know I'm doing that. Never stop, never stop, never stop. Walk in the past, I'm getting off track, whatever I lack, add it to my bag, and I got plans to where that came from, and my price is right, I never change, bro, I don't get it done, get it done, right, and that's Yo, so one of the biggest mistakes in my entire dunk journey that I battle with every single workout is trying to have the best dunk day possible. Now that seems like I'm not trying to have the best dunk day, but the thing is, it's a complete flip. For example, last week I had one of my best jumping days I had in a really long time, felt strong. That's gonna be a whole nother video of how good I'm feeling. That's gonna be in the dunk vlogs. But here's the thing, I didn't hold back the day before, which is when I did a mile run, which I've been working on if you've been following my Instagram and my social to get my heart rate up and work on my heart cardio, which I like to use that term. And also just for some explosive activity that's not too strenuous on my hamstring strain. And then I did Nordic. Nordic's really hard, pushed myself, kept good form, didn't really try to extend my back. There's a lot of form to go down with the Nordics. You can check out my Instagram for that technique that I'm talking about. But the point is, but the point is, but the point is, I didn't hold back because in the past, I used to try to be like, save some energy for dunk day, save some energy. Yes, we're trying to do that, but the Nordics, the mile run, that workout that was prepping for my dunk day, that's what I need to do as the priority. My dunk day is just a result of the work I'm putting in. That doesn't mean I'm just saving my energy or I'm using it wrong. I want you guys to put the work in as hard as you would go as if you're having the best dunk day and then that's where the learning comes in. That's where the art of dunk training comes in is understanding when that energy is peaking for your dunk day. But in my past, which is I want what, what, what I want you guys to understand is in the past, I would be like, okay, tomorrow's gonna be the best dunk day. It wasn't that great, I wasn't feeling perfect, so I saved energy. Then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait till one more day. Okay, wait one more day. Okay, wait one more day. And I kept doing that when all those days could have been work. And that doesn't mean push yourself to the max. What I'm saying is, in conclusion, get super clear on your goals and work them down to what you have to do today and trust in the process and go as hard as you can today. Even if going hard means resting and just stretching and just mobility work and hydration and staying strict to your diet, that all takes a lot of energy and focus and discipline, but it's all part of the same journey. If you're saying, I'm just gonna go to the max every day, that's not what I want. I want you to be super clear that today's work you put all your energy in that day and that's how you're gonna make long-term progress. And I'm telling you, when you feel the workout that I'm talking about, it's it's hard in the moment. Like for example, tomorrow I wanna dunk. I don't have to dunk tomorrow, but what I, I do need to do is do what's best for me today so that way, long-term, I'm jumping my best I can. For example, for my goal at dunk camp on August 2nd. And so what I'm saying is, yes, I wanna dunk. I have a lot of energy today. I wanna save that energy and use it for tomorrow's dunk day, but I really need to do the the Nordics. And that's another story why I need to do them. But basically, I want to strengthen my hamstring. I really need to focus on my energy and mobility. I need to push that mobility. I need to push my range of motion. I need to do that. And if I'm extra sore tomorrow from the work I do today, if I'm a little bit more fatigued or a little tired from today's work, that's the positive. That's what I want to happen. And I could, I could postpone my dunk day when I freshen up. I don't want to limit myself today by trying to just jump well tomorrow because that's very short-term thinking. And if I do what I'm trying to do, which is focus all my energy on today's workout, then tomorrow or whenever my next dunk day will be, even if it's not my best one, in the future, my potential is high. Higher. Focus all your energy in what the task at hand is today without thinking long term, and then your potential grows. So, in conclusion, part two is this get super clear on your long term goals and then crush small goals over and over and over again, focusing all your energy on that, trusting that you know that you're clear enough that this is what you need to do now. Dunk my baby, dunk to Tuesday, every freaking Tuesday. If you don't follow, if you're not following my journey, you're missing nuggets. If you want to dunk, this is how you do it. This is what you need. It's body, mind, spirit. Do you even believe you can achieve those goals? If so, does your subconscious have any blocks in it? All those things will translate into your physical workout. Figure it out or just listen to me or build your awareness or meditate. Whatever you got to do, I'm trying to help. Let's go. See you every week. Let's ride.